Man United players are avoiding passing to one young star because they are unconvinced by him amid a rotten run of form for Eric Ten Hag's men. Manchester United players are reportedly avoiding passing to Rasmus Hoylund because of a crisis in confidence in him, and male sport can reveal who is passing to him less frequently than before. Hoyland has hit another dry spell since coming back from injury in March, scoring just one goal in ten games. His teammates are unconvinced by him, and one explained that some are looking for other options when they get in the final third, as reported by the Manchester Evening News. It has been a muddled year for Hoyland since he joined from Atalanta for $72 million in the summer on the back of a ten-goal season. While he scored five goals in the Champions League group stages, he didn't hit the back of the net once in his first 14 Premier League games. He then went on a blistering run of seven goals in six between December and February, becoming the youngest ever player to score in six consecutive Premier League games. However, he sustained a muscle injury on February 23rd, and his prolific form has vanished since. Overall, he is pretty much receiving the same number. 15.9 passes per game compared to 16.1 in his first 20 league games. However, thanks to Opta, Male Sport can reveal that some teammates have seen sheer drop-offs in how much they are successfully giving him the ball. The most damning is Alejandro Garnacho, who has completed just two passes to Hojlund over the last 573 minutes, more than six games worth of time. That's an average of 0.31 passes per 90, as opposed to 12.6 passes per 90 before Hojlund got injured. There has also been a huge drop-off with Aaron Wan-Bissaka's supply, plummeting from 1.76 passes per game to 0.68, and Scott McTominay shooting down from 1.64 to 0.44. That's despite United having marginally more possession over the period. It is worth noting that these stats are for passes completed, not attempted. No such stats for the latter could be provided. It is also worth pointing out that some stars such as Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford are getting the ball to Hodgland with greater frequency, over one pass per match more than before. Speaking with Mail Sport recently, former United frontman Andy Cole spoke about the difficulties of leading the line at a young age. Hodgland is 21. I've said many times that for such a young guy to come to Manchester United and score goals it's difficult, Cole said. To come to Man United and have no one to learn off it's difficult. Me coming to Man United I had Sparky, Mark Hughes and Eric Cantona, they move on. I had Yorkie, Teddy, Ole, and I genuinely like to believe we all took something from each other's game and we all learned from each other. When you have a young man come to Man United and everyone says he's Man United's no nine, you're like, he's not experienced enough to be no nine. Cole was speaking at the premiere of 99, an Amazon Prime documentary covering United's iconic treble winning season of 1998-99. Hoylund has faced his fair share of heat from old Trafford icons. Roy Keane was scorching in his criticism in January. He's been allowed some time to bed himself into the club and into English football, Keane said on Sky Sports. But we're talking about Manchester United. These players don't have desire to score, and he's, Hoyland, not shown it. There have been players that have come to Manchester United, and we've spoken about how unlucky they are. But you can't keep waiting. He's had chances, and he's had an injury when he arrived, so you might give him the benefit of the doubt, but... The shooting and scoring statistics are so poor, it's unbelievable. It's also down to the players around him, the more experienced ones, and I don't see that desire in them. Man United send workers up to the top of Old Trafford, as they look to make urgent repairs, less than 24 hours after heavy rain cascaded through the roof during their defeat by Arsenal. Urgent repairs to fix Old Trafford's decrepit roof are underway, less than 24 hours after heavy rain cascaded through one of the stands during Manchester United's defeat by Arsenal on Sunday. Workers in hard hats and high-vis jackets were snapped abseiling up and down the side of the iconic stadium on Monday morning as they assessed the damage up on the roof. The urgent works will follow what was a disappointing defeat for United, 
who sank to a 1-0 defeat at the hands of Arsenal, who kept up their title challenge on reigning champions Manchester City. However, United claimed the workers were carrying out previously scheduled maintenance on Old Trafford and was nothing to do with the rain. During the closing stages of the game, a fierce thunderstorm swamped the 114-year-old stadium, where water could be seen cascading from one corners of the ground, while videos on social media showed a flood pouring under seats and even where the players' tunnel meets the dressing rooms. United said that 1.6 inches of rain fell in two hours after the final whistle, more than in the entire month of May last year. But supporters of both clubs left the stadium safely. Another embarrassing clip showed rain leaking into the away dressing room at Old Trafford after the game. The deluge coincided with a visit from Labour Party leader and Arsenal season ticket fan Sir Keir Starmer, as a guest of Mayor of Greater Manchester Andy Burnham, who met with Lord Coe and United's minority owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe beforehand to discuss the future of Old Trafford. Coe is head of the task force driving plans to regenerate the stadium and surrounding areas. United are backing Ratcliffe's vision to bulldoze Old Trafford and build a Wembley of the North at a cost of up to $2 billion but will consider renovating the existing stadium if it is not feasible. Ratcliffe pledged $237 million to upgrade Old Trafford as part of his 1.3 BN investment in United, but Sunday's flood was a reminder that plenty more will be needed to plug the gaps. While rival fans delight in singing that Old Trafford is falling down, United supporters point to the wretched state of the stadium as a symbol of neglect by the Glazer family during 19 years in power. Absolutely embarrassing, sums up the neglect the Glazers have shown towards the upkeep and maintenance of Old Trafford and Carrington, one fan wrote on X, formerly Twitter. It isn't the first time the roof at Old Trafford has suffered a major leak. Numerous times over the years, the roof of the stadium has struggled to keep supporters dry, which has led to Ratcliffe making it one of his main focuses in regenerating the club. It has also become a major issue and a stick to beat the Glazer family with, having been accused of a lack of funding over the years. The question of what United can do to solve their stadium crisis was discussed on Mail Sports' It's All Kicking Off podcast on Monday, with co-host Ian Ladyman suggesting the club could look to move to London while they carry out a major overhaul. I think they should tear Old Trafford down, play at Wembley for two years, build a new one, he said. There are other people who think that can never happen, and they need to rebuild it and modernize it again and again.